Hello, hi, what's up? So I bought myself the Hadjatifal, hold on, let me Google it. Hadjatifal, Hadjatifal chair from Ikea. Um, I've been using my, like using a dinner chair and like a giant pillow as my seat for when I work from home for a long time. This is, this is it here. But I thought it was time to upgrade sitting as I'm still gonna be working from home for a few days a week. So yeah, so I will just be putting it together and maybe in like a couple weeks, I'll give you my review on how I'm liking it over that time. So let's do it. So I'm gonna be putting it together now. The box is pretty heavy, I'm just gonna say. We've got the front part of the chair, as well the part that you lean on, I guess. We've got the graceful the legs of the chair. So, I don't know what the part you sit on as well. Just put that down. Ooh, that was pretty heavy. Instructions, wheels with an L key, and some screws. Another heavy part of the chair, which is the stick that connects the legs to the base of the chair. So I guess that's all that's included. Let's get started. Open this first. Okay, doesn't seem too hard. We're gonna start with the wheels. Just kind of pop each one in. This is what it looks like. So it's just one of those pop-in things. Okay, got one. So just repeat it, I guess. next looks like you just put it in yeah so literally i just popped it in and it just sits easy next next we're working with the butt and the back of the chair Literally, I just need to put three screws in at this point. So let's do that. I know I keep saying that it's just way heavier than you think a chair would be, you know? So this goes here. And the holes need to line up. And then you put these screws in to there. So I popped each of the screws in, so I'm just going to properly tighten them. So that part's done. Next we're just going to sit it on top of the legs, which we just did before. And I think that's it. Cool. So that's, that's the chair done, I guess. So I thought I'd do like a quick um, first impressions of it. Okay, so I can lean back, which is nice. Yeah. But I also think I can turn off leaning back by pushing in by pushing in the lever over here. So I push that in and now I can't lean back any further. And if I pull it out, I can lean back, which is nice. I think I like it in the leaning back stage to begin with because it still feels like firm, but like not too stuck. And I can just kind of chill if I want and then get back into like business mode. So that's what the lever on the right side does. And then I think this one's just like a normal. 
Oh, does this not work? Okay, so it turns out that this lever not only locks it for the locks the till option, unlocks and unlocks the till option, but it also is the lever that makes it go up and down. So I feel a bit silly, but good, good to know. It does actually work. And then the lever on this side, the left side when I'm sitting on it, um, it lets me kind of change the distance between the butt part and the back part of the seat. So I have I can move further back or if I scoot it back in like this. So initial impressions is it's nice. I like it. I like it with the tilt unlocked. And I like that the up and down mechanism actually works. For a second I thought I had to return it or something, but no, it's fine. So I will check in in a couple of weeks, let you know, but so far so good. Bye. Hi, so it's a bit about two weeks since I filmed the assembly of this chair that I'm sitting on right now. I just thought I'd jump on, just give my review on how I've been liking it. So first thing I mentioned a few times in the first part of the video that it's a heavy chair, but I actually think that's a good thing because I'm using this chair on a tiled surface and I feel like if it was a light chair, the wheels um, on that surface would just like make the chair roll around fairly easily but since it's heavier the chair only moves unless i push it to move or like i move around on it physically so i like the fact that it's a heavy chair secondly i mentioned that i would prefer the back of the chair tilt section to, to remain unlocked so that i can like lean back but in the last couple of weeks these i think this may be the screws that i put into the, into the back have kind of gotten to a like a slightly looser state but in a good way so that when it's in the lock state, I don't feel like it's too firm. I can kind of at least move back a little bit without feeling like I'm like stuck. So now I actually prefer to keep the tilt locked and so, so that I don't actually move back. I do get a little bit of give now since these last two weeks. I reckon it's just because I've tightened it a lot when I first joined it and I gave my first impressions and it was so tight that I really couldn't even do this. So I like it like this, but when I do, unlock it using the lever on my right. Um, it's pretty good. I kind of wish when I like, sorry about the autofocus, but I kind of wish when I leaned back, it um, wouldn't push me forward as much. I mean, I gotta actively keep myself back, but anyway, it could be just good for productivity because I won't be like in the chill zone for too long and I'm back up. But yeah, I keep that locked now. And in terms of the cushion, I would say it's firm, but I like it as a firm cushion. I don't want to get, I don't want to be on like too much of like a cushy seat when I'm trying to like work, focus and be productive. I worked for, uh, from home on my couch a lot. And for me, it was just way too comfortable uh, or, or way too cushiony. So the fact that this seat is firm, but not like hard, like a dinner chair, which is what I used to use um, before I added the pillow on it. I think it's a good, kind of level of firmness, personally. So yeah, those are my final thoughts on the chair. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this video was helpful for you. And subscribe if you wanna see more. Okay, bye.